Hi everybody, it's Louisa here and I have one last project share for you. I'm not going to do anything for a couple of days. Um, so I wanted to make something. I haven't made one of these in a while. I've done two clocks before. One like this one is actually the same type or brand and then another one was a wall clock which was pretty large from my bathroom. So this one is my next one and it's like I said, it's the same clock like last time. And I'm going to post a picture of what it looked like before right now. See, it was orange. Yes, an ugly orange. Um, and I still have this so I can show you what I did with that. So, yeah, I altered it. And I made it into a vintage ladies clock. And the paper in, in the face is actually from Lyric, Prima Lyric Collection. So, so I used one of the sheets out of here. That was my last decision because I had three packs of Prima paper that I was trying to pick from. And I had to ask my friend in my NBC group which one to go with. And in the end, I just chose that. It was hard, anyway, um, because depending on which paper I use, it was going to it was going to you know tell me how the rest was going to go. So I just wanted to match that paper as much as I could, and that's all it is. It's just that sheet of paper inside. Let's see, now as you can see, it's a working clock. This is the third time I made a working clock. I haven't done one yet. That's just a shadow box kind of a clock. Um, this clock comes from Big Lots. They used to carry a whole bunch of these a while back for like five to eight dollars. And I bought several of them, so I think I still have either one or two more left. Um, the last one that I did that was this type of clock was a steampunk clock, and it was um, using this team steampunk debutante collection. So I sold it to my girlfriend, and this time it's a vintage clock with a little bit of steampunk because I did put some gears in here. Alright, so the back I left the way it comes and there's a little button here that turns on the light that's in front and I'll show you that in a minute. You know, everything is working. The alarm, I don't know. I don't think it's going to work. It might. Let's see. If it hits hard enough, it might actually ring this one bell, but I put flowers under there so I, I wouldn't know. But it would hit this one. And since this has a lot of paint on there, it's not going to be as loud as it was at first. So what I did was I removed the screws that this comes with to remove the back. You have to take out this part too to kind of pry it out. And then you have to unscrew the feet that are on here. And then this, the um, parts that hold the bells also you have to unscrew. And that will enable you to remove the hole inside out. The whole face and everything plus there's a little ring in here that gold area which was white that comes out and then you can push out the glass so I did that and you just gotta be careful with the wiring that's in there if you want it working you, know, you have to be really careful otherwise um, you can just take out the guts and then do it like a shadow box style uh, you have to be very careful with the hands of this and I just used some pliers and lightly gripped on the little hands and pulled them straight up and put them to the side and then what I did was I removed the face this part here but saved it because I needed to trace my paper it has like a little notch here that's where the little light bulb goes and then you're gonna have the hole where your um, mechanism goes through so I just took my paper and we'll just say, let's see, we'll just say I want to use that one. And then I, upside down because it has sticky stuff, you know, I kind of put it around my paper, see where I wanted it. Traced everything, including the notch and the hole, and cut it out. And I also used my wider score tape to adhere it down. Then I took some glossy accents because I wanted the there's a little bird back there the flowers and the chandelier to pop out a little bit and you can kind of see it's a little shiny so I just went over it with glossy accents put it to the side so it can dry and then started painting 
um, my pieces as I had everything apart all my screws were on one side and everything and I did give several coats of gesso to both to the um, bells and this this part here like the whole base of it and I just used my acrylic gesso and I gave them this part I think I gave it about five coats and this I gave it about three coats even underneath because I was gonna color that too um, paint it and then for that I use my Gleam Gleam's acrylic paint from Delta Cream I mean ceramic coat it's, um, 14 karat gold and the black I just use a regular black oops from Apple Barrel color and gave that several coats. The ring as well, I also just sewed with a couple of coats and did the gold in there. Um, before putting it back in, I adhered the small very tiny flat back pearl trim that I had to the edge of that plastic ring. If you could see there just to give a little bit of a border and a little bit something fancy in there and I went ahead and put back the hands very carefully made sure they were all straight so they wouldn't hit each other when they were turning and then I put in my battery before putting everything together I put the battery in so it would start moving and made sure that my hands were as close to the time as possible because it, it's hard to get it to um, adjust right so it's probably not exact by the minute or by the seconds but it's close enough <laughs> um, I also did uh, give a little bit of paint the gold paint onto the hands they were black I don't know I just felt like it needed it to be gold instead so then I went ahead and put everything back together screwed it all in with the battery in still so that the, the um, time wouldn't go off um, before decorating and before adding these bells, I went with my Inca Gold. I see one color here. I rubbed the entire thing with this hem hematite Inca Gold so that it would give it a shine and look more, less like the acrylic paint that, you know, what acrylic paint looks like. You see that? More shiny look to it. And then I also went over it like on the edges with the silver just to give it a second color and around all the edges here. And this I use on something else. I also brushed on very lightly with some of the gold paint that I had used in some spots. I'm sorry if it's not clear enough, but you can see just on the edges some of the gold paint. And then I went ahead and these bells, before I attached them, did the same thing with the hematite color because I wanted them to look old instead of like a brand new gold. You can see there, you can see around the tops. Sorry, it's so shiny <laughs> that the light is just shining off of it, but you can kind of see right there. I left these as is. I liked the contrast of all the metal looks so I left the um, handle and the feet just as they come I think I did that to the last one too and instead of putting back the little um, they're not screws but they're like little covers that you screw back on here I decided to use a couple of different uh, sizes of the Tim Holtz um, clock uh, keys I think that's what they're called I don't know but I used two different types and two and sizes. I thought that would be fun. So then I started um, adding my embellishments. So let me put this aside so I can kind of tell you what I used. I mainly use a lot of the Prima flowers, my cord ball flowers. I don't use them that much. So lately I have been. <laughs> But I know I can get my hands on more, so it's no big deal. I, I gotta try not to hoard things. And then, um, put that aside. Let me see. I use, I don't think I use these. Use uh, wild orchid crafts and some birds. I think these are Jolie's. 
so while they get crap leaves. Okay. So, on a lot of the flowers, um, actually on all of them, I inked all the edges. I wanted it to give it a grungy look. On the leaves too, you can see dark spots. And I just used my, let me put this away too, black soot. I could have used paint, but I just, you know, I had this out already, so I just used that. It made it a little bit easier. And then I didn't want it to get too heavy with all the paint because I was going to add the gold paint on the tips as well. But um, I adhered the, the flowers first before I went with the gold. And I used, okay, I finally broke into this. Karen Zucchini Kitty gave me this. See, I'm writing the names down. And I finally used one of them. I've been holding that. So that one is here and it says love. If you can see that, it's right there. I use these little scrolly looking things. And I think these are Jolie's brand. I picked them up a long time ago. I use quite a bit of those. And they're just here. And there's a little one here. And there's a bigger one here. And then there's one on the side. And I think that's in of those. The leaves are... Um, Wild Orchid Craft leaves. So those got, some of them got cut down so they weren't so big like this one here, but then the rest were left large and they got inked. So they're just kind of scattered about. Not too many leaves. I didn't want to bring too much green into this, but there is a light green in the image. So I just wanted to kind of mimic that. I also used a couple of flowers out of this Prima pack, which was in my Prima box. This is Coventry Rose Romantique. So I used two out of that one. And I used one, two, three, or four. I don't know if I, I think four. One, two, three, four, yeah. Out of this pack, which is Hardinere, Hardinere Printery. Hardinere, uh, it's like, it sounds like Hardin, which is Spanish for garden. But I think it's French. So I used several of those and just left those two for another project. And some of the jet black open rose from Wild Orchid Craft. There's a number there. Some of the black flowers that... Um, hmm, see what happens when they're not labeled. I think this was Kelly who gave me some black flowers, but I could be wrong. But... I had run out of this size of my own, so I know one of the, the ladies has sent me some. And some Wild Orchid Craft Buds in like a cream, peach, and a pink, like a variegated white and pink one. I wish that I could get like black buds. That would be awesome. So, and then the rest you'll see on my project. Um, there's several... These are not Tim Holtz gears, and they do come with a little bling inside. This one here and that one already comes. And then this one under here. They came with bling in it, and that is the other brand, which is always next to the Tim Holtz stuff at Joann's, and I can't remember what it is. It could be Seven Gypsies. I'm not sure. But at my Joann's, it's like right next to Tim Holtz. And so I just layered some Tim Holtz ones with those same over here actually these are just all Tim Holtz and then I just put the little swirly things there from Jolie's a Tim Holtz pen nib that says memory I don't think I don't know if it, there you go wow and then behind that is a really pretty bling piece with a black center and that was given to me a while back so I finally went into that hoard ball and used it I really want it to look very pretty and um, sparkly and still grungy at the same time. So on the side, another piece that I haven't used is this little buckle. And I know that Karen gave me a set, but this is actually from my stash. I haven't touched the one Karen gave me yet. It's still in the packaging. Um, but I, I stuck that in there, and then I hung off that little piece there, this heart. Now this heart... This dangle, 
the chain and the butterfly came off of that piece that I showed the other day that was from Walmart and this is what is left of it and the remember I made that hot pink charm with the black and the white and used uh, the feathers well this is all that's left of that now because I used the charms and everything else that was on there on this um yeah so what else so let me just kind of show you the flowers once everything was attached I added more onto the flowers I went and rubbed on some more of the hematite the dark color and then also went over it with a little bit of that um, 14 karat gold paint in some places you'll see like right oh come on get out of the way you see there and on the tips of all the flowers I just went over it because there was um, this one here that's from Prima already had some gold on it so that gave me the idea of adding more so I did it on the rosebuds look at on the leaf isn't that cool I think I'm going to do that technique more often I really like how it looks and then on the side more just love it even on the bottom it kind of goes underneath there and then there you see the rosebuds so on the little clock wind up these I hung that chain which comes there's one piece that comes around and goes over on underneath that scroll there I wanted more chain but I wanted the same piece same type that this is but there wasn't any more so I just left it like that and then the charm everything came off of that thing and that dangle here and I think that is it and let me show you before I forget that it lights up I might have to turn off a light to show you that it lights up see and if you could see where I'll uh, see if I can even see where I'm looking at see where it's coming from little tiny light bulb back there in the corner and that's where it lights up so I thought that was funny so I guess when you're in the middle of the night trying to see your clock you just hit it so you can see what the time says um, so it's a working clock so you can see it's all decked out you could take it apart again if you needed to because I left it so that you can access everything in the back I don't know I don't think you'll be able to move this glass though because it is glue so you won't be able to move that but everything inside you can move if you need it to open it up but like I said the clock is probably not spot on as far as the time is concerned okay sorry I accidentally stopped recording so I just wanted to say thank you all for watching as always I appreciate all your comments and don't forget um, tonight is the last night to enter my birthday bash giveaway in the morning I'll be closing it and the next day hopefully I should do the drawing um, yeah so that's it I'll see you guys next time bye now